Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. We really appreciate. Um, I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. Please encourage me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. And uh, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Our vlogging channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. Um, so today I'm going to be reacting to 3,000 years old mysterious tablet found with image of Dajjal. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters and welcome to Quran and Islam. We hope you're preparing well for your Akhirah. In 2006, a famous Jordanian archaeologist, Ahmed Abdul Karim, presented a tablet. Carbon dating estimated that it had to be roughly 3,000 years old, which means it definitely goes back to the times of Hazrat Suleiman. This is absolutely unbelievable, but the details and explanations will amaze you even more. Let me first share with you a few interesting details before you decide whether the claim is true. This tablet was discovered in Saudi Arabia's ruins, where Jews used to live once. This tablet stands out because it can be viewed from all four directions and displays meaningful images from each one. The fact that these photos are unrelated to one another and each tells a separate tale is even more unbelievable. Look at this tablet from this first direction. You will see an old man. According to Abdul Karim, this old man is Prophet Musa. He believes that this image was carved onto the stone by jinns during the reign of the Prophet Suleiman, since there was no technology available at that time to do this. This elderly man resembles the Prophet Musa exactly as our Holy Prophet peace be upon him described him. Additionally, the face has something written on it as well in some ancient language which means a scholar who stammers. Now we know from Surah Taha that the Prophet Musa said, O oh Allah, open my chest for me and ease the task for me and loosen the knot from my tongue so that they can understand my speech. At the bottom, there is a calf's head as well. Remember the story of this calf that Hazrat Musa's nation had started worshipping in his absence? All these signs confirm that this side of the tablet refers to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. Now let's rotate this tablet at 180 degrees. This new direction displays four images. Can you spot this half head of a person? This is the right half with one eye, nose, mouth and beard. Abdul Karim claims it to be the image of Dajjal. According to our Islamic knowledge, Dajjal is supposed to arrive before the end of the world. Our Holy Prophet peace be upon him has made clear the physical attributes that he will have one eye, bush-like hair and thick neck. Similar characteristics are shown in this image. A monkey and a pig at the left point to the 70,000 Jews of Bani Israel who disobeyed Almighty Allah and were punished by turning them into pigs and monkeys. You will also see a scorpion at the top. We know that when someone sees a scorpion in his dream, it means enemy. This implies that Dajjal is the biggest enemy of mankind. Here is the royal cap that resembles the Egyptian kings used to wear. These writings on the top of this head depict the evil and unpredictable nature of Dajjal. We know that the true believers would be able to see the Arabic alphabet Kaf, Fa, Ra on the forehead of Dajjal and they would be aware that Dajjal is the devil. These writings most probably refer to the word Kafir. Now have a look at this tablet from the third angle. It shows the head of the shaitan resting on a chair. If you look at it a bit carefully, the face is also quite clear and visible. Our holy prophet peace be upon him forbade us from praying when the sun is rising because according to him, the sun rises from between the two horns of the shaitan and praying at this time is equivalent to worshipping him. It implies that the devil has horns. The fact that the head on the chair has horns 
and is lying there indicates that the demonic Dajjal will be in charge. This fourth direction shows a man that is naked in front of a few women. It once again points to the Prophet Musa, according to Abdul Karim. There was a time when men used to bathe together, but Musa was modest enough not to do this. So here is another reference to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. According to Abdul Karim, the presence of the images of both Prophet Musa and the Jal is not coincidental. Before Prophet Suleiman, Prophet Musa alayhi salam was the most recent prophet. He told his nation about a true Messiah who was Prophet Isa and a false Messiah who was the Jal. The Jews instead hanged Prophet Isa after mistaking him for the false Messiah. But Allah brought Hazrat Isa up in the heavens and the misguided are still waiting for the Jal as their true savior. Brothers and sisters, although Abdul Karim's assertions could have some doubts, they support what our beloved Prophet told us about the fitna of the Jal. Each and every Prophet has warned their people to be aware of him because he will be the deadliest fitna to have ever existed on earth. We ask Allah to keep us all safe from this fitna. Ameen. Brothers and sisters, isn't this mind-blowing? How Allah is still giving us signs and signals in the form of such discoveries and explanations. This ancient tablet that science has proved to be 3000 years old is absolutely amazing. Share with us your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I'm trying to understand something here. Yes, the tablet is 3000 years old, but um, is everyone in agreement that it's Moses and the other one is Dajjal? Um, what's the whole point? What I want to understand is, so if there's, an, there's a tablet with Dajjal's face, does it mean Dajjal has already penetrated uh, Earth or he's yet to come? Also, who was responsible for carving his face into that tablet, into that stone, you know? What's the explanation to that? Um, and when it comes to Moses, not just not just Moses, but the other messengers of God, do is that also proof of how they looked like? Perhaps images engraved somewhere in this world, and people have come across them. That would be nice. That would be nice to know, and nice for you guys to answer me in case you have any information. I'm just too stuck on um, the image of Dajjal. Is it that this is a warning to us to look out for a thing that looks like that? Because um, does the tablet or the image on the tablet relate or refer to anything in specific other than Dajjal is going to have maybe some sort of maybe not pleasing face? with one eye, are we only focusing on the one eye here and we're saying, okay, this is how Dajjal will look like. Or there is more to this image in the tablet that we have to understand. So if there is anyone with knowledge out there, just feel free to comment down below. Is this trying to warn us of the coming of Dajjal or it's already te or it's telling us that he is already here on earth and is doing whatever he's supposed to do, you know? Um, otherwise, it was interesting. It was very, very interesting. Um, and I'm sure if, even as time goes by, many more discoveries are being made. Um, discoveries, discoveries like this, actually. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If there's anything you want me to react to, let me know. Just give me the name or the link down below. I'll check it out. Um, don't forget to love this video, share it with your friends, comment. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.